Easy Sprouting Plus presents the guide to Easy Sprout. In this video, we'll be growing mung bean sprouts. They're great sprouts and grow in about 24 hours. Start by measuring half to one and a half cups of seeds. We'll measure them into the vented dome. It makes a great measuring tool with the lines marked on the side. With the inner container inside the outer container, pour the measured seeds into the inner container. Now that the seeds are in the sprouter, it's time to begin the soaking process. What we like to do is fill the sprouter with lukewarm water and completely submerge the seeds under it. This will ensure that they're able to absorb all the water they need to sprout later on. The sprout guide has specific instructions on how to soak most of the seeds you'd want to sprout. For mung beans, you want to soak them for eight to nine hours. After soaking, the seeds have absorbed all the water they need to sprout fully. Now it's time to drain the sprouter of all excess water because if the seeds were to sit in excess water, they would eventually start to rot and be cut off from their oxygen supply, which is very important for them to sprout. We've developed a method we like to use to further drain the seeds, which involves placing the vented lid on the sprouter and then using centrifugal force, we rotate the sprouter at a high speed inside a mesh bag or a stocking. And for this demonstration, we'll use mesh bag. It is our personal favorite method, which you'll see shortly. Firmly take hold of the mesh bag at the end and spin it around with the sprouter inside it. Be sure not to hit any furniture or light fixtures while you're spinning the sprouter around. It can be kind of dangerous, but it is very effective for draining all the excess water. After centrifuging, the water that was in the seed mass has now been pulled to the outer container, which you then drain the excess water from. And now you're ready to sprout your seeds. They should be nice and loose. Place a vented lid on and push back and let them sprout. Ten hours later, the sprouts are almost done and could be eaten at this stage. They are actually at the peak of enzyme activity at this stage and it would be very healthy to eat right now. But for our purposes, we'll wait a little longer. Now later on the day, six hours more have passed and the sprouts are just about perfect. Don't they look beautiful?